If you have a baby, you are probably familiar with this little suit right here. This is the Magic Merlin sleep suit. So today we are gonna talk all about it, but probably not for the reason that you're thinking. So hi, my name is Jensen Casey. I am a pediatric sleep consultant, certified postpartum doula, and mama of three. One lucky mama at that. So today we're gonna talk all about the Magic Merlin sleep suit and why it's actually not so magic and won't get your child more sleep. So if you are not familiar with it, it is something that is often used when children are transitioning out of a swaddle, but before they make it into the arms free sleep sack. And the reason that it was created is to help your baby still have a little bit of that, um, like comfort, cozy felt like held feeling. Um, but it also has the arms free. So if they were to roll, then they would be safe and okay. Um, but in the Merlin, the, the goal is really not to roll. It's, it's meant to keep them on their back. So it is padded. As you can see, there's a, definitely a lot of padding in here. How you would use it is you would zip it down, place your baby into it, put their arms in, then zip it back up, lay them flat on their back. So as you can see, it is a full sleep suit. So it's definitely something that you would have to consider what you're putting under it, um, I would just do like a, a onesie if you were going to wear it. But I'm going to tell you from a sleep consultant perspective why I am not a fan of the Merlin. So as babies are growing and they are coming out of the swaddle, we want them to be able to start to develop some independent soothing skills. And that would be sucking on their hands, sucking on their thumb, their full fist, um, rubbing their face or their hair to be able to get to sleep playing with a sleep sack or tags. Um, those are all things that we would want children to be able to start to develop so that when they are placed onto sleep, they have a method of self-soothing where they don't need an adult to be able to help them fall asleep. The problem that I have with the Magic Merlin is that the way that it's designed, they're not really able to do all of those self-soothing methods that I just recommended. So once they are placed in here on their back, because of the padding, it's really hard for them to bring their arms up and reach their hands to their mouth. It's really hard for them to move their legs. They cannot roll to their side to get into a more comfortable position. So it really leaves them just kind of stuck flat on their back. And I don't know about you, but I do not know a lot of people that just sleep flat on their back with their arms way out to the side. It may be comfortable for a couple of minutes, but eventually you're going to have to roll, to move, to readjust. And in the Merlin, they're just not able to do that. So while I have heard a lot of families find success in the Merlin, um, I personally would rather just make the jump into a traditional sleep sack so that they can get used to how to move their body how to get comfortable on their own to be able to fall asleep. Um, another thing, even if you have had success with the Merlin and you have been using it, eventually they're going to grow out of it. This is a size large, so this is the biggest that it comes, but eventually your child is gonna be bigger than that. So if they've really been relying on that cozy feeling, on this extra comfort that the padding of the Merlin brings, eventually they're going to have to transition out of it anyways into a traditional arms-free sleep sack where they're gonna have a lot more space. It's not gonna be as padded and as weighted. So they may have trouble at the end of um, this spectrum where instead you move them right to the swaddle into the Merlin and they made the transition seamlessly, but now they're having trouble transitioning out of the Merlin because they don't have that same cozy feeling that they had in the swaddle and in the Merlin suit. So something to consider. For me personally, I will always recommend going straight from a swaddle into a sleep sack that is arms free. And the way that you want to do that is by first removing one arm right around eight to 10 weeks, getting them used to sleeping with just one arm out, then transitioning fully to both arms out so that right around that 12 week mark, they're able to have both arms out, fall asleep and be able to stay asleep using those self-soothing strategies that I talked about in the beginning of the video. So if you have the Merlin on your registry or you know someone that was going to gift you the Merlin, say no thanks and just pass it by.